Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and happy holiday season to you. And thank you for taking the time. Let's see. I got to show you guys what I have here. We're clicking on this holiday, a 2018 candle and somewhat couple faves of my Bath and Body Works soaps. Uh, haul. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back guys. You guys, before I dive in, I just want to say I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. A little bit, again, different backdrop. I just filmed my um, cosmetics empties part one and two, and I didn't like the angle of it, so I switched things up a little bit. I, I kind of feel like it's a little bit better view this way and then I'm not sitting on the floor and my legs aren't falling asleep. So I think we're going to keep this set up for the rest of the holiday season. Um, I cannot believe it's less than a month till Christmas, you guys. I hope you are all enjoying your holiday home fragrance and holiday goodies and shopping and I hope you guys are just enjoying this time of year. I don't know, for those of you who have followed me for a while, you probably already know this, but this is my first Christmas back in my home state, my native state of Michigan in nine years. I was out west for almost 10 years in Arizona and slash Nevada, and this is my first Christmas truly back home. Um, I, of course, had come back to visit, of course, but you guys, I missed this season so much. Now that I'm burning like these fresh balsam scents and peppermint and all that jazz, I, I'm like even more into the season, I guess. For those of you that have the luxury to have seasons, enjoy it while you can. I this, know the snow is kind of crazy and can be annoying at times, but coming from someone who has lived in two different parts of the country, it is something that's really beautiful and I hope you guys are enjoying it, those of you that have it. Now, those of you that are out west or in California, Arizona, Nevada, enjoy that nice mild weather though. I mean, you know, it's a trade-off. Um, I just wanted to point that out. You guys, I'm super excited to do this video today. Everything candle-wise, I already have reviews up of, of almost every single one of these. I also added some soaps that I'm currently using. Each season, I like to do one big video of everything I'm currently using for X season. So this is my, you know, winter 2018. This is what I'm using slash burning for Christmas. And this year is actually the first year I'm doing peppermint type scents and balsamy Christmas tree piney type scents. In the past two to three years, I burned exclusively for the most part Winter Candy Apple and Tis the Season, aside from like the candles I reviewed. And I'd throw in like a fresh balsam here or there. But this year it's a full on like pine, balsam, evergreen, and then all types of peppermint. And I am loving it. I feel like peppermint is kind of the scent of the season for holiday. Bath and Body Works is coming out with a ton of peppermint scents. I have some really nice 1803 peppermint scents. Yankee Candle does have some pretty peppermint scents, but I haven't used their candles in it because I was afraid of the throw. But nice variety, and I cannot wait to dive into it. I'm going to do candles last, though. Let me show you the soaps that I'm currently using. Now, I did not, I'm not going to go over every single one of the soaps I'm using because I'm, of course, using Twisted Peppermint and Fresh Balsam. But there are three that I thought were notable and kind of worth going over. The first one is Enchanted Evergreen. I was on the fence with this one, you guys. Look at the packaging. How pretty. That's so gorgeous. When I smelt it at first, I was like, oh, it's a sweet pine type scent. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But you guys, it's notes of evergreen, pine, and I think citrus. Yeah, sparkling citrus. It works. It smells to me. It reminds me of, again, growing up in Michigan, it reminds me of a pine tree when the needles are kind of dropping or it's kind of producing a pine cone and you get that sweet, sappy type fragrance. That's what this smells like. And the citrus really brightens it up. Really pretty scent. If you don't like fresh balsam and maybe that's too intense for you, you really might like Enchanted Evergreen. It's really pretty. Um, it's also versatile, a versatile type scent. It's not super pepperminty or super sweetsy. Now, speaking of super sweetsy, 
Candy Cane Bliss is a nice alternative, in my opinion, to Twisted Peppermint. The notes for Candy Cane Bliss are Winter Peppermint, Vanilla, and Whipped Cream. To me, it just smells like one of those soft um, peppermint after dinner mints. A little bit smoother, a little less harsh than Twisted Peppermint. I love Twisted Peppermint, but it's nice to switch it up. I really enjoy this one. The packaging is darling. It'd make a really cute gift. I think I bought three or four of these, so I really enjoyed this one. And then the one that caught my eye, mainly because of the packaging, was Spruce. And I really like it. It's kind of a weird scent, and it's something I wouldn't normally gravitate towards because I think it has eucalyptus in it. It's eucalyptus leaves, juniper bark, and golden amber, which I don't know why it's called spruce. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. But it's just like a, a pine type scent, not overly eucalyptus. It's very, very versatile, fresh. It's very authentic. It does smell like a eucalyptus slash pine type sap branch um that amber kind of smooths it out and warms it out a bit really pretty if you're looking for a Christmassy type scent I'd say give this one a try I can see where people might think that this smells like um like the old school pine saw I I think it kind of smells like just a very pine essential oil pine type scent um with a little bit of a warmth from the uh, amber but if you like that type of scent give this one a try all right, let's see. I do have a couple, let's see, I have two types of wax that I have burned thus far this holiday season. And if I keep moving, you guys, I'm not trying to obnoxiously play with my hair. The Christmas, these little things keep sticking to the back of my head. Um, and I don't want to shut off the camera and readjust, so that's why. So the first wax that I've been melting this season is Candy Cane Bliss. I love this scent. I was really trying to find Candy Cane Meringue. I had gotten it at semi-annual sale a few years ago, and I can't find it. I don't know if it's something they even will come back out with. I don't know if it was a one-time thing, but this was the closest that I could find, and I do like this. I had it going in my bedroom wax warmer and the open concept wax warmer. In a large room, the scent got lost, couldn't smell it, but in a smaller room, a smaller space, it did throw really beautifully. It's a very smooth candy cane. Again, like a soft peppermint after dinner mint type scent. Very, very smooth, um, creamy, very, um, I guess, versatile. Uh, it's not as in your face again as that twisted peppermint, I think, is like the kind of pinnacle of peppermint fragrance. So a little more toned down than that. I also, this is my second 1803 wax uh, item that I've used. Look at how pretty this is. Home for Christmas from 1803 Candles. I had purchased one of their Halloween ones. I think it was called Happy Halloween and it smelled like a creamy caramel corn. And when I was there, I knew obviously Christmas was coming up so I wanted to get one for holiday. All of their products have this pretty glitter on it. Isn't that so pretty? It just looks pretty when it's melting and in the warmer with all this glitter. It just smells like a really smooth, warm, in, in a weird way, not in a bad way, um, a bit of a powdery type peppermint, not in a bad way, but I, I don't mind powdery scents. It's smooth and warm, almost like a peppermint powder. Really, really pretty. I did one chunk in my open concept warmer and it's throwing in the immediate area. Again, I don't expect wax warmers. I mean, some of the wax you get, depending on the brand, can have a really good throw. I don't expect my wax warmers to fill the entire room. It's kind of like in addition to certain fragrances, but this one's really pretty. I really enjoyed it. And then I also wound up grabbing, and I've been burning and absolutely loving, 1803's Home for Christmas in the candle. Single wick, small jar. This retailed for $12.99 at the store, the local store I purchased it at. It was a local craft store. Look at the packaging. Doesn't this remind you guys of Bath and Body Works um, 
kind of like their camp winter collection they had last year. That's what that reminds me of. It's very much just a, I don't know, country type, country chic type style aesthetic they have even like with, let me show you. Uh, the tag, they have a little, you know, um, paper tag on here. Just cute. Very cute and quaint is kind of what their their style is. And I love the mason jars. They do have larger ones. This was my first 1803 candle purchase, so I obviously didn't get a giant one. Um, these thing, this thing burned hot and fast. You can see they have glitter in the candles as well. It burned hot and fast, you guys. Really thick. Um wicks on these. I will obviously have to trim that when I burn it again. I put this in my open concept just to kind of test the strength of it. It really kind of got lost, but when I put it in the half bath and then and or bedroom, it threw, it filled up the room, and it's a really pretty smooth peppermint scent. Again, not an in-your-face peppermint type scent, but a really pretty smooth, if you like um, Yankee Candles, uh, Candy Cane, what was it? Is that the Candy Cane Bliss? Candy Cane Lane you might like Home for Christmas from 1803. This one's a little more on the powdery side, warm powdery peppermint side, but I think it's very, very cozy and fitting for the season. I can't wait to try other 1803 candles. Hopefully, um, maybe in the new year or for spring, I will definitely give 1803 another try. If you guys, I'm obviously not well versed in 1803 at all. If you guys have any recommendations, comment down below. I also have, Twisted Peppermint had to. I grabbed a Twisted Peppermint Single Wick. This was when they had that $4.95 Single Wick Candle Day everybody went crazy for, which I did too, when French Baguette and Pink Petal Tea Cake came out. I snagged one holiday one just because I was originally going to gift it. Obviously, that's not going to happen because I've already dipped into it and started burning it. Um, pretty decent throw. Obviously, a Single Wick, I'm not going to expect a huge throw from it. And the half bath, it did fine. For those of you who aren't familiar, notes for Twisted Peppermint include cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and hint of musk. Do you guys remember Twisted Peppermint having a buttercream note? That I don't remember. Comment down below. I, I don't remember buttercream note in Twisted Peppermint. Nonetheless, this version of the single wick throws quite decently in a bedroom um, half bath. I still feel like in a uh, open concept room, it still might get lost just because of the single wick. And then you guys, this one I've actually been recently burning. I just extinguished this like an hour and a half ago. My beloved peppermint marshmallow. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on these candles I'm about to show you because I have reviews up of all of them, but I did get the chance to burn this a little bit more than I did in my review and I know this one had such kind of spotty performance sometimes in, and it did last year or the year before when they brought it back, but I loved the original version so much that I had to get one this year. It is starting to do that weird um, scent change thing when it gets to that past the halfway point. I'll have to trim the wicks again, but overall pretty clean burn. There's really minimal sooting on the side. I didn't wipe this down for the video or anything, but it is starting to do that discoloration, which is what I was afraid of because it's a little bit more of a lighter pepperminty vanilla scent. I hope I at least can get like, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope I can at least get one or two more solid burns out of this and I'll be happy. Mid, mid thrower on this one if you didn't see my original review. Um, if you want more details, like I said, reviews of all these I have up as well. Let me, I have a few more candles. Let me blast through wallflowers though because I just switched out all of my wallflowers, you guys. And sometimes I feel like wallflowers get forgotten. And sometimes certain wallflowers just for certain seasons throw much better than others. And I had some very interesting insights on wallflowers this season, at least for me thus far. So I just did my holiday switch over like three days ago. So I figured what better time to tell you what wallflowers I'm using and which ones actually were kind of like stellar performers for me. So I have, of course, tried and true Twisted Peppermint. Now for Twisted Peppermint, I feel like the candles usually quite strong. But you guys, the wallflowers this season, I have one in the laundry room and one in the bathroom. 
It's throwing, but it's nowhere near as strong as I remember. And it's not super noticeable, which is crazy. Um, and I don't think it's my units, but that's Twisted Peppermint and I'm kind of surprised. Comment down below if you guys have used these this season. I don't know if I got a bad batch. It's not that they're unscented. It's just that they aren't as strong as I remember them being. Now, I also have, of course, I have a fresh balsam. This one is throwing, no issues, very strong. Have it in the entryway. Smells like a, a balsam pine tree, great scent. What are the notes for fresh balsam? Woodland balsam, eucalyptus, and cedar wood. If you want like the ultimate Christmas tree scent, grab fresh balsam in a wallflower, you guys. Stick it like behind your um, Christmas tree. If you have an artificial tree, people will think you have a real Christmas tree. So that one threw really well. One that's really, really pretty, and I remember it from a couple years ago. Mary Mistletoe, you guys, is so pretty. It's almost like how I was talking about the Enchanted Evergreen Soap, how it's like a pretty sweet pine type scent. It's more toned down than Fresh Balsam, and it's just really pretty. Um, Mary Mistletoe's notes are frozen cranberries, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. The vanilla mixed in with like the little tartness of the cranberry and the balsam make it really, really pretty. Um, this one is, I actually have it in the bedroom, which for a pine type scent, typically I wouldn't do that in the bedroom, but it's really pretty. It's like a nice sweet pine type scent. Very Christmassy, but still cozy. That's Mary Mistletoe. And then the one I was really excited about that um, I wish through a little more was Crushed Candy Cane. I have this also in the main open concept area and I do have the candle of it as well. Crushed Candy Cane notes include crunchy peppermint and white sugar crystals. Really pretty scent. The wallflower is throwing, but again, same as Twisted Peppermint. It's just not as strong as I had hoped. So that's Crushed Candy Cane right there. The one that was very stellar that I was just kind of blown away with that I actually originally was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get this one or not, but it threw really well in the wallflower was Peppermint Brownie, you guys. And I'm glad I grabbed another one of these. I have an unopened one as well. It's throwing. I have it just placed kind of right by in um, one of the main hallways. And every time I'm walking by, I'm like, oh my gosh, that peppermint brownie wallflower is like one of the only ones that's really, really, really throwing other than fresh balsam and merry mistletoe. But of all the peppermint ones, this one's the strongest, you guys. Peppermint brownie. Go figure. Um, I really enjoy this one. Really, really nice. Let me blast through my final five candles here. Let's see. I also have been burning and thoroughly enjoying balsam and cedar from Yankee. Now, I had it in the open concept, you guys. Nice clean burn, of course. No issues. Per usual with these, I did have to trim the wick. Beautiful holiday packaging. It is not going to fill up an open concept. It will totally get lost. But burning in a bathroom, in a small bedroom, or if you don't have vaulted ceilings or anything like that, this one is throwing for me in a smaller space where it won't get lost. Really, really beautiful. I enjoy this scent so much that I wound up getting the air freshener and um, the little scent beads. Very um, authentic balsam and cedar scent. I find this a little more authentic than Bath & Body Works Fresh Balsam but Fresh Balsam throws a little bit better, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. But if you want a very authentic Christmas-type scent, I would give Balsam and Cedar a try. Look at that pretty packaging. I have a review up of this as well. What else am I burning here? These are all ones you guys have seen. Oh, I had to throw this in here. Marshmallow Fireside. I'm burning up the, um, using up the rest of this. I still have quite a bit left. Ugh. I love Marshmallow Fireside. It's just such a pretty scent. It doesn't really go with the other holiday ones. This is leftover from fall, but I just love this fragrance so, so much. I also have, of course, Crushed Candy Cane. This is when it first came out in that really pretty pink white barn packaging. I think they have another collection out as well. This one I'm going to start burning as soon as I'm done with my peppermint marshmallow. 
I got two more for you guys. I have peppermint brownie. And now that the wallflower is burning or throwing so good, I cannot wait to burn this one again, you guys. I did it for the review and I burned a few, few other times. But now that I'm seeing how amazing the wallflower is burning, or whatever, warming, I'm really excited to burn this one again. I do remember the wicks being a little funky on this one, but this is really pretty. I really, really like this scent a lot. Um, and it's stronger than peppermint marshmallow. And then, of course, this is probably one of my all-time favorite. It's just like a classic Christmas fragrance to me. And it's beautiful. Vanilla balsam. I mean, you can pair this with any of the peppermint scents. I don't know why this isn't focusing. But beautiful frosted glass. I don't think I have a review up of this one. If you guys like fresh balsam and you also enjoy vanilla or like a smooth type scent, you really might want to try vanilla balsam. The notes are balsam fir, frosted vanilla, and pine needles. Very, very beautiful fragrance. I did not see wallflowers of this this year, you guys. If you guys saw vanilla balsam wallflowers, comment down below. Because last year, that's what I had. I used vanilla balsam instead of fresh balsam wallflowers, and I loved it. I didn't see any this year. So if you guys spot them or those of you who work for Bath & Body Works, let me know if they were coming out with wallflowers and vanilla balsam. So you guys, that is it for me today. That is what I am currently burning slash using home fragrance wise for holiday 2018. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of these and let me know which ones are your favorites. Also, what are you guys burning and or melting in your home for this holiday? So you guys, um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I have lots more reviews and goodies coming up for you guys soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Find me on Instagram at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, as I said, enjoy the holiday season. Candle day is upon us. I hope you guys get all kinds of goodies. Comment down below what your favorites are and what you're looking forward to snagging on candle day. You guys, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.